It was only a few minutes ago I was recording saying it was going to be the witching hour in a minute and I've just had a couple of pull downs on the left hand rod. So we're going to keep an eye on it and see if it goes again. We have, at last, a lovely Norwegian cod. The target species, as we expected, feeding after dark and look at that there was certainly some snow up on the mountains when we drove over this morning which was really pretty to look at so yeah we're, we're very lucky with the scenery here um, but let's hope for some fish because that's what we've come for we didn't come for snow well good morning everyone we've made it to Norway this is day one and I'm out fishing with Wayne today uh, so I'm sure he'll be putting a video up over on the shore hunter channel so make sure you go check that out. I've already had a few casts and I've got some bait out in the water. I've got one rod fishing rag and the other fishing herring and we're hoping that today's going to bring us some cod. Now Wayne has already had one which is absolutely awesome. First chuck he brought out a beautiful codlin, about four, four pound maybe. Um, I think he might just be going to get it for us to have a little look. Let's see. Here we go, everyone. That's it, come across a little bit. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey. You all right? Yeah. Welcome to my channel, Wayne. Hello, Clickbait Jam. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I know you as Dr. Gemma. Yeah. <laughs> everyone else knows you as Clickbait Gem. Clickbait Gem, yeah, I'm Dr. Gem to Wayne. He's got to get the doctor in there. You know, uh, got to show respect, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll go into more about why I'm a doctor one day, maybe. But. Yeah. Not a medical one, I have to say. But yeah, nice little fish to start. We've had a few cold fish out as well, catching some little ones, maybe about that big for bait. Should be perfect size. We'll get some of them chucked out later. But yeah, we're on the fish. And we've only been fishing for what, an hour? Yeah, not even that. We've probably, yeah. we messed around first day, sorting all our kit out, making sure nothing was broken, everything works. Because when you travel over from the UK, as you probably know, a lot of things can go wrong. Yeah. But, but we're good. we got all our rods. Yeah. We've got all our luggage. What more can you ask for? It was a miracle, really. Yeah, yeah we've got tide, we've got bait fish, and we've got a chance. Yeah. So we're going to keep fishing. We probably, yeah, probably 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah, it's we've, been brilliant. Yeah. And, and the rain fish. stopped, and it's supposed to be sunny for a lot of the week, so we're laughing. Yeah, anyway, well, you enjoy yourself. Yeah, cheers, and you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to Gemma's channel. She's absolutely brilliant, and uh, yeah, you do a great job. Thanks, Wayne. Anyway, so we're do you. Keep fishing. Cool. So we'll go through my rigs and tactics in a bit, and hopefully we'll bring in some decent fish. So we just had a bit of action. Wayne had a massive slack line bite, and he's missed what we think was a halibut. Hook was turned up on his rig. So yeah, there's definitely fish out there. But what I'm going to do now is talk about my lead. So it's only just a boring grip lead. But what you might notice about it is the wires haven't been bent out. So when we're packing our luggage, one way to bring your leads over is to put them in your rod tube, but to slide them in plastic plumbing pipe. And then that way, without the wires bent out, you can fit them in. Just bring a pair of pliers and get these wires bent out and then I can use my lead. So here we go. Like that. And this way, I think I brought about 20 leads over inside a pipe. And that stops some damage in your rods and it uses some of your, your weight limit that you get on your rod tube, but you're allowed to bring 23 kilos in it. So clearly you've took a couple of rods or three rods aren't going to weigh that. So it's a great place to put your leads to transport them over here. So there we go. All ready to go. Look at that, spot on. Welcome back. I haven't put my mics on because it's raining and they're not waterproof. Well, it's been very, very quiet. It's been hours since I recorded the intro. I haven't done an overview of my rigs because it's freezing. I've got my gloves on, waterproof fleece line gloves. And yeah, we've just been getting out worm baits, fish baits, nothing really happening apart from that codling Wayne caught this morning. 
and he also had possibly a halibut bite. Uh, certainly something had to go at his fish bait out there, give him a slack line, turn the hook. And yeah, so um, if things pick up, we'll come back later. I'm gonna take a little break for dinner around five o'clock and then come back out after dark, see if we can pick anything up then. But still a few hours to go before I head off back from the food. And hopefully, hopefully darkness might bring a few fish in. We'll see. Welcome to the evening session of day one. So we've been home, we've had a bit of dinner and we've come back out. It's just last light at the minute and we're hoping once darkness sets in, some of the cobble appear. Some of our group went out on the boats today and landed a few, so we've got high hopes for tonight and fingers crossed we will get some fish on camera. So let's have a quick look at the rig I'm using tonight. We've got an up and over um, running rig and I've got a 6.0 big dog hook on the bottom there. Loads of pop-up beads and some glow beads. And I've got four ragworm on there ready to go. And six ounce quick lead on the bottom. This is on my competition blackout rod. And I've actually switched over to a fixed ball this evening. It's a little bit chilly on the fingers doing the line lay. And I thought it would be more fun to fish with the fixed ball for a change, even though I do love my multipliers. So let's get these baits chucked out and see if these lovely juicy worms can land us a fish. Well, it may not be the biggest fish in the world, but we have a lovely Norway codlin. Caught on the shadding rod. So we'll have a look at that in, maybe in daylight rather than now. But there we go. Nice little codlin, graced the shores. Very happy. We're just coming up to the end of day two. End of day two, crikey, I'm getting ahead of myself. Day one, it's been really quiet. There's been a few fish out on the shads. I had that little one, small codlin and Wayne's had a couple of codlin out today, which has been lovely to see. But the fishing's been generally very slow. Not really any interest at all in our fish baits or rag baits, which was a bit unexpected. But we're gonna try a different venue tomorrow where hopefully we'll be getting a few more fish. And if it's not raining so much as it has been today, I'll go through my rigs and tactics a little bit more with you. So thanks for watching day one. Day two will be coming up in a bit. Cheers guys. Well, good morning everyone. It's day two. We have reached our mark. It's about 50 minutes an hour's drive from where we're staying and it's pokey. The wind is Baltic this morning. So we're tucked around with all our gear out of the wind behind a rock, but the rods are out here in full view. You can see I've got Wayne here. Hello covering everybody. Covering my mic. <laughs> Nearly grabbed your boobs. Sorry. You did, didn't you? That's what we get up to when we're fishing in Norway. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna give it our best. There's three of us out here fishing today. There's Wayne, as you've just seen. We've got our friend Lee here with us as well. You might be able to pick up their gear in the background there. We're gonna give it our best shot. And we're fishing rag baits and herring. So between us, hopefully we'll work out what the best tactics are and maybe we'll bring in some fish. So I'll catch up with you later, hopefully with a bit of action. Cheers guys. Well, it's been out there about 25 minutes. So it's time to reel in and check the baits. Let's see if we've got anything. I haven't had any touches, so probably not, but we'll give it a go anyway. Get some fresh bait out there and we'll have a look at the rig I'm using. Let's see if there's anything on it. My line is going down at that angle, even though I've cast out about 80, 90 yards. It's so deep here. You wouldn't believe how deep it is here. Perhaps if I tighten my drag up first. Let's try that again. Right. Yep. No, it doesn't feel like there's a fish on here. No, no bites. I did stick about six ragworm on here on a big 6-0 hook, hoping some codling would come and take my bait because that's what we're after today. So Wayne had a bite just now, so that was a bit of excitement. But it didn't come to anything, it just... Uh, oh, I've got, I've got Lee's line here. So there we go, look. That looks... Looks like something's had a little bite out the bottom there. But I didn't see any touches. 
And what I'm using here, this is my um, up and over rig. I'll go through that once I've got it baited up again on the next cast. But yeah, so sign of life. So that's a good start. So I just reeled in my up and over rig, but this time I'm chucking out a pulley, a standard pulley. It's got five foot snood. And you can see here all those juicy ragworm. I've got five or six on there again. And above that, I've got some uh, moon glow attractors and some Tronics Pro pop-up beads. They're also glow ones. And that's also got a little bit of rig foam on there just for extra buoyancy. And I've got a splash down at the bottom and a six count XKM grip lead. So I'm going to get this whacked out. I'm using my competition blackout today. And I've actually got my Shimano fixed ball on there because it's a little bit cold and I'm trying to make sure I don't get too cold through the day so I can keep my um, hands warmer by using my fixed ball than having to do the line lay and reeling like that. So yeah, try to try to make the most of the day really and not freeze to death in here in cold, snowy Norway. There was certainly some snow up on the mountains when we drove over this morning, which was really pretty to look at. So yeah, we're, we're very lucky with the scenery here. Um, but let's hope for some fish, because that's what we've come for. We didn't come for snow. So let's get these ragworm chucked out. Always check my drop length. That's about spot on. Not twisted round the top eye. We're good to go. Tighten up the drag. Spot on. Now I've just got to watch my line because there's a pier just to my right and the wind is quite pokey taking that line round. But the water's so deep here you've got to wait quite a long time for the weight to hit the bottom and just slowly let the line out, making sure it doesn't snag on the obstructions we've got here to the right. That's still going down. Just slowly, slowly let that line out. Oh, I think we're there. So the lead's hit the bottom, but I've got to keep an eye on the line because it does take a little while for the line to settle even though the grip lead's hit the bottom. So I'm going to have to keep tightening up every so often for the next few minutes, making sure my line stays off the rocks that are just here in front of me. And I'll loosen my drag back off as well, because we don't want any big fish to pull my rod in. So that's going to take a little while to sink. I'll just keep tightening that line. And yeah, the baits are back out. Well, I've just round in, ready to sink some fresh bait out. Hopefully you can hear me all right, because it is absolutely freezing. Sorry if there's any rustling on the mic. Well, this is my up and over rig, as you can see. The bait is pretty much exactly the same as I was using on the pulley. And I've also got the, the moon glow and the pop-up beads on there again. So similar tactics, but this one's an up and over rig still got about a five foot snood three foot rig body so we'll get this one whacked out see if we can get any fish oh my god it's cold out here in the wind it's absolutely bitter so i've cast that one a bit closer this time than the last one try different places for the bait see if we can locate where the fish are but between us we're fishing five rods I'm only using one today because my hands are just too cold to cope with doing two rods and I've got to pace myself for the week we've still got another four days after today so I don't want to put too much in at the beginning and be wasted at the end of the week but we're out fishing we're out freezing our butts off and we're trying to catch some fish. Make sure I get that drag set because I'm going to be sitting in the van in a minute out of this arctic wind. 
I just need to make sure I spend a minute or two tightening up that line as the lead and the the lines settle on the seabed. Get my last rig moved out of the way. Look at that. Absolutely untouched. Look at the scenery. It's stunning. It's brightened up. We haven't had any rain yet today, but we did have a few flakes of snow just to keep us on our toes. So I haven't fished any fish baits yet. I've been sticking to big rag baits and it's all been coming back untouched. The other guys have been using fish or rag or maybe both. Again, we've been fishing hard, but nothing happening yet. Soon we're going to take a break and go to a local cafe and get some hot food inside us. And then we're going to come back reinvigorated for the night session when hopefully things will pick up. Certainly if yesterday's anything to go by, most of the fish should come after dark. And if today's anything to go by, that means all the fish will come after dark. <laughs> but I hope it doesn't work out like that. We're still trying hard to catch a few in daylight. It's coming up to probably about an hour, hour and a half before low tide now. So it's all to play for. We've still got plenty of time left today. We're certainly going to fish a good few hours into darkness tonight. And hopefully that'll bring us a few fish. Cheers, everybody. We just had some action. Wayne, aka the Shore Hunter, so check out his YouTube channel, just pulled in the first fish of the day. A plump little codlin, I'd guess maybe three, four pound possibly. So that was on the rag. And yeah, it's a good sign. So fingers crossed, there'll be a few more fish coming up. But yeah, make sure you check out his channel. And over there on his video, you will see a lovely, pretty little codlin caught from the Norway fjords. Well, we've got time for one more cast to put some fresh bait out before we take a break and head to the cafe. So I'm going to get this one wound in and chuck out some fresh rag. Oh. Chilly, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. You look freezing. I'm not that cold. Do, yes. I, do I look that cold, people? Yes, she does. Well, I've got my warm gloves on again now. <laughs> All right, get it reeled in. Fresh baits chucked out. No, nothing on it. At least I can reel it in nice and quickly using my fixed balls. I've got a nice fast retrieve on these. Much faster than the multipliers. Reeling it up from the depths. At least the sun's come out as well. It's starting to look like a nice day, but believe me, it is chilly. Oh, that bait is untouched again, but at least we know now that Wayne's had one cod, so we've certainly got a chance of picking up some more. I think all of us think our best chance, though, is going to be after dark, which is why we're going for an early dinner at the local cafe. Oops. I was a bit fiddly unclipping that with gloves on. Next one's here baited and ready to go. Oops, find that swivel. This is my up and over rig, so it makes it a bit more fiddly to clip on. There we go. And as always, I'm gonna check my drop length. It's a bit too long. Now it's a bit too short, of course. Give it a bit more. There we go, perfect. Just going to give this one a little gentle flick. There we go, that's about half the distance I have been fishing. Probably on about 40 yards. Maybe 50 if I'm lucky. See if I can pick something up in close. Still deep there though, mind. Still really deep. I think this is probably the deepest mark that I've fished in Norway. That means anywhere in the world. 
there's seriously deep water and you certainly wouldn't want to be falling in to water that deep and weather this cold. So there we go. There must have been about a dozen rag on that. Get a nice bit of scent going out and maybe attract a fish. Well, we're back for round two on day two of Norway. We've been out and had either a late lunch or an early dinner, depending on how you look at it. And we've got our baits back in the water and the light should be beginning to fade, maybe in an hour and a half. And we expect the cod to come through as darkness sets in. So we're gonna keep fishing hard, try and get some fish on camera, and hopefully we'll get something, something big, you never know. But I've got my hand warmers out ready so I can take my gloves off a bit more and uh, get fishing. So yeah, let's see how we get on. As you can tell by the way I'm dressed, it is freezing. The wind's dropped down, thankfully, but the sun is starting to set. So the temperature's dropped right off. Brax, who's fishing just next to me, had a bite just now, but didn't manage to hook up. But it's coming up to the witching hour. So hopefully one of these rods is going to pull down with a nice big fat cod in the end, on the end any minute and help make up for me standing here and freezing my whatever you want off. <laughs> But we're in with a chance, people. We're in with a chance. Let's hope for that cod. Oh, it was only a few minutes ago I was recording saying it was going to be the witching hour in a minute and I've just had a couple of pull downs on the left hand rod. So we're going to keep an eye on it and see if it goes again. I'm willing this to be a cod. drag a little bit tighter just in case as I'm standing right here next to it now it's not going to pull the rod in so this one's got a straight ragworm on it this is my straight rag rig with some of that moon glow and pop-up beads on there went again so I'm just letting the guys know who are sitting in the nice warm van that I've had a bite <laughs> Hey, Wayne has joined me. Let's Pretty see if he's tight. on there. It's not on there. I don't think it's on there. No, put it, put it back down. Put it back down. Is that on rag work? Yeah, it's on straight rag. Okay. Hopefully that didn't spook it. Often they come back, even if you've pulled, moved the weight a little bit. Now we've just got to wait to see if it's still there. That was a decent enough pull down, but not a screaming run that I was hoping for. I'll just give that a few minutes. If it comes back, that would be fab. If not, I'll reel it in, stick some fresh bait out. But that's my first bite all day. We've been standing here in the freezing cold and I feel like I've really earned that bite. Yeah, it's still there, it's still there still there <laughs> I'll give it a little bit longer this time see if it digests that bait so I'm using the competition blackout so they've got nice glass tips so show up the bites really well but that was a decent enough pull down anyway if you can hear some background noise it's probably the engine running because the two boys are sitting in there with the heater on <laughs> while I'm standing out here freezing yeah there it goes again Nice little pull down on the left hand rod. Well, it's giving me a bit of slack line. Oh, still not hooked. Well, the GoPro battery died just at the wrong moment. We have, at last, a lovely Norwegian cod. The target species, as we expected, Feeding after dark, and look at that. Nailed that bait. That was on herring with a bit of rag in there. But a lovely fish, I'm very happy with that indeed. The wind chill's currently minus six according to the weather forecast. So it's pretty nippy, but that got the adrenaline going. 
and I'm ready to get some more baits out. Woohoo! Just had a bite on the right on the left hand rod, just as I made a cup of tea to try and warm up a little bit. But we're in on the fish. That other cod I just reeled in, £6.14, so I'm very happy with that one. That's a good start. Let's see if we can hook this one. I'll just have to turn my headlamp back on now and watch for the bite. There it goes. Definitely, um, definitely there. Just wait for that to bang right round. Try and swig my cup of tea down before it takes off. Because it's supposed to be minus six, it certainly feels it. I made that cup of tea about one minute ago, it's already cold. Right, come on fish. Whoa. <laughs> Camera nearly went over then. We nearly lost you. I'll just keep you on them rod tips. See if we can get that bite. Let's light them up a bit better, there we go. Just wait for that left hand one to pull round again. Hopefully this fish will take off in a minute. Yeah, rag. Well, it's all kicked off here. I've just had this another lovely, beautiful Norwegian codlin. Quite a bit smaller than the one I had earlier, but very welcome nonetheless. And it's all gone a bit mad. Lee's just had a beautiful cod. Must be about 12 pound, we reckon. And we're being treated to a spectacular display of the Northern Lights. Hopefully I'll be able to get a few photos to insert into the video because the GoPro just does not do them justice. We're on the fish! Woohoo! 